covering me lately is the lack of plan B's. There was a time when I thought, you know, we we always had a plan B for everything, and that really seems to be gone. Um, and what I'm referring to is actually the fact that your client guest today said that he that we have no plan B in regards to the coach in regards to who's going to be the coach next year, and we've only got one plan, which is your client guest. Now, to me, that's honestly very, very disrespectful uh, to your just because you know he came back not because he wanted to he was already retired you know he was already at his home with his wife with his dog he was just enjoying life and he came back because we were in a crisis there was nobody else so he came back basically as a friendship thing you know and he already said i'm gonna be here you know until the summer and then i'm gonna be gone so for us now to just like pester him about it you know to keep asking him about it uh to honestly not plan beyond him is first of all respectful and second of all is an issue. I think it was 2017 when Carl X Romani came out and said you know, that we are currently uh, that we currently you know don't know the coach. All we know is that he's gonna be German. And uh, that was it. That was, let me see if I can cross the street, I can, if I run. <laughs> uh, and that was, quite frankly, all he said. Um, but the one important thing is that he said, by the end of, sorry, not by the end, by uh, beginning of the year, January slash February, we'll know who the coach is. We're now in, well, pretty much the second month in now, pretty much, and we still don't know who's going to be the coach for next season. Now, Ole Unis came out today and said, 10%. Uh, he believes that uh, Yup will stay beyond the season. 10%? That's not right. That's not a lot at all. I mean, he also said that, you know, that we've got no plan B. I mean, you put those two things together. And for a club, you know, as big as Bayern, that is really... First of all, that's very, very bad odds. I'm a gambling man and I wouldn't play with those odds. <laughs> but that... It's just kind of worrying. That's my main issue. It's worrying um, that we have, you know, that, that the chances are ten percent, and we are not looking at anyone else. We're not really doing anything else. It's just, you know, we're just there and we're hoping for better. Now, of course, if the solution is that, you know, that they're currently talking to people and they're just saying that, you know, just to for the media, essentially. Okay, that's a different story. But you don't, you don't say you've got no. Plan B. Like, like, you know, any businessman knows you don't say you've got no plan B because that shows desperation. Now, obviously the name that has been discussed a lot has been Tuchel. Tuchel has been... To be fair, I've got no idea where I am right now. I literally just took a random walk and just decided, you know, let's record. Uh, it's pretty much, it's my area, don't get me wrong, but I've never been here before. So if I get robbed or anything, um, which isn't very uncommon in this area, to be totally honest, uh, if that happens, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You won't see this video in that in that case, but you know, just the way it is, I guess. Um, regardless, back to the topic. Back to the topic. Personally, my personal preference for the coach for next season has to be Thomas Tuchel. Uh, you know, you may say, oh, you know, why has he won? As a coach, you know, you need to win. What has he won? He's not won anything. He's not, you know... I think it's more about... It's not just about winning. It's also about football. It's also about how good a team is. Now, obviously, Dortmund is never going to win much with us being in the league. With us being in the DFB Pokal. And they're never going to have a big chance in the Champions League. But for me, like, he clearly improved Dortmund. Now, you could say, oh, they had defensive issues. Most teams have defensive issues. You could say, oh, uh... They lacked a lot of they lacked a lot of things. Most teams have that, you know. Yeah. But what he did with them was improve them. Uh, he made them a force we reckon with. I think this they were the second. They were the be they were the best ever second in the league, which in itself was quite an achievement. Uh, they scored goals for fun, and just in general, they were just pretty good. They were just very, very good. I think probably the best they've ever been, if I'd be totally honest. Like, not the second year, but 
like especially the first year when they were when they went on like their little unbeaten run and whatnot they were fantastic they were something outstanding now in the second year and you know it's hard to fall apart with the defense and whatnot but like the first year they really really showed how good they can be how good a total team can be now we're not even talking about his minds team because he did wonders in minds too so i think if he's got a bigger budget if he's got better players players that are willing to listen to him and uh, he's got you know he can build his own team especially considering that he uses young players he uses them a lot so you know he builds on young players so if we can kind of give him all that i feel like he would be the perfect solution i honestly feel like if he was at bayern he would be an excellent excellent fit um now of course the discussion that people are having is you know his que does he have a questionable character you know, uh, getting fired from Dortmund. We don't know like, the exact circumstance, but getting fired from Dortmund. Of course, that's obviously a big issue, a big question mark. Then you've got the question of egos. Would he fit in at Bayern due to all the egos? I really can't say. Um, there are obviously a lot of big egos at Bayern. I mean, that's not really something that we have to discuss because that's quite simply a fact. But I think it would be quite interesting. I think honestly it would be quite interesting. Um, so, my, like I said, and then obviously the name that's been touted around is Nagelsmann as well. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I think he's too young. Uh, I've got nothing against young people considering I'm younger than him. I think. No, I am. <laughs> uh, 22 in 20 days. So, I mean, I'm not that young anymore, but still, he's younger than me, right? But, you know, what I think he lacks is more so experience. Now he's again showed us how good he is as a coach. We saw how good Hoffenheim was. But again, experience is key, especially when you coach a big team, because you're being on a run of bad performances will cost you a job. Now so far he's just had a lot of success. But once he actually hits a rough patch, that's really you know the kind of experience that you need. Uh, then you also need the experience in European competitions, Champions League, Europa League. Didn't really work out for him. <laughs> So that's another asterisk. You know, he's got quite a few asterisks now. Obviously, we've now got Sandra Wagner, we've got uh, Sule, and we've got Rudy. So you may say, oh, well, he's used to the players already. The players will work for him. He can build a squad. Yes, he can. But, you know, you also have to factor in egos. There are much bigger egos at Bayern. Now, you may say Thomas Sokol is an ego, but the thing is, he can, he can manage with ego because he is an ego. Yeah, he's got a massive, massive... Kind of like me, I've got a massive ego. I think I'm the best, I am the best, simply put. But, um... Nagelsmann, you know, world-class players, hasn't really worked with them. Massive egos, hasn't really worked with them. So that's why I always said that Thomas Tuchel is my preferred choice, because he has worked with... He has worked with players with egos, he has dealt with that. He's dealt with more than most coaches will ever deal in their life with the whole bus situation back last year. I think the trial is actually going on yesterday or today. Um, but yeah, just you know, in general, you know, very very good. I think I would say that he's a better fit. In all honesty, um, just really depends. Just really depends on what you want. Because obviously, if you get Nagels, man, that would. I mean, the hope, I can't say for certain, but the hope would be that he would essentially shape his own, he would essentially shape the club. And we all know that he loves the club. You know, he's already stated that for, for him, his dream would be to coach Bayern. Um, I still think it's far too young. I, I still think he's far too young and far too inexperienced. <sighs> what are these guys on the floor? Great. Uh, but yeah, I still think he's far too young and far too inexperienced. I also think there's a lot of things that, you know, he needs to work on, quite frankly. Whereas Thomas Tuchel, he kind of, again, maybe it's because I like Tuchel. I, I like the battles that we had between, like, Tuchel. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of my shoe. I like the battles that we had between uh, Tuchel and Pep. I thought those were excellent battles. Uh, I thought those were excellent matches. Some of my favourite matches in recent times, to be totally honest. You know, they were always high-class football, with both managers trying to find each other weaknesses. It was just a lot of fun. It was just... 
one second. It was just, you know, quite frankly, it was just good entertaining football. Exactly what you need. You know, second against first, but very, very entertaining. And I think that's kind of what we need as well. You know, trusting young players and creating good football. Because, you know, especially for young players, when they play football uh, and, they play, and they're successful... Oh yeah, I don't think I've ever showed you that. Eh, stupid camera. Little moped. We lost the key. <laughs> so it's basically a brand new moped, a brand new thing that we don't have the keys for. Oh well. We've got engine outside as well. But yeah, um, you know, especially for young players, once they play well, you know, they are, once they are, once they have confidence, once they're doing well, look what happened to Coleman. You know, once they do well. They play better and better. It is just a case for young players. It's just how young players develop. Which is why you always need to give young players the confidence to play, to make mistakes, you know, to do the whole, to do everything basically. So anyway, that's just my take on who I think should be the coach going forward, and why I think us just having one plan is pretty stupid. Uh, just banking on. How are you doing, Carla? What? Ah, nice. Looks good. What? That's the important part. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Need to make sure of that. Okay. Makes sense, yeah. Well, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll hear you next time as well. <laughs> All right. Anyway, peace out. Yeah, that video kind of. Should I upload this? I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Yeah. Anyway, you guys know my choice, and again, I feel that. I would have loved your pikes to say absolutely, you know? Just from like a personal perspective, I would absolutely love it. But... Uh, but... I also think it is quite disrespectful, not just to him, but as well just to the friendship between Oli and Yo. Now imagine... I'm going to put a hypothetical scenario here. Um, now imagine I've got a company, right? And my, I don't know, my best friend, uh, my best friend is, say, I don't know, an accountant, right? Now, he works for a, a company that pays him, you know, a million a year, and I can't know when, you know, I can't afford it anywhere close. The most I can afford him is, say, 20000 right? And say the company... I need to put my phone somewhere. Say the company that I work at, right? Uh, suddenly has issues. The company that I own suddenly has issues. And I hire him, you know, can you help me out? And he's like, okay, you know what? I'm taking a one month break. The camera is awful, isn't it? Like, like the lightning. Uh, and he's like, I'm taking a one month break. I am doing this just for you, you know? Uh, if I do it any longer, you know, I will lose my job. The one that pays me a million a year. And then he comes in and does it and helps you out. The company's all stable. And he's like, okay, now all you need to do, you know, you've made some money now. You know, you've, you've, I've helped you make some money. The company, the company is now stable. You're making profit. Now you need to hire an accountant. And then I'm like, no, 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 you're staying with me. You're staying here right now. You know, that's kind of what it feels like. And obviously to him, because you're friends, he's like, he's then going to think, you know what? I need to stay. You know, I can't really just leave right now. When you know, when he knows that he wants to leave, that's ultimately what it seems like. Like he wants to go back, you know, and earn his money. <laughs> and you just say like, no, come on, stay with me. Stay, come on, stay here. You know, help us out. You know, stay. Be an accountant. You know, and he, you're putting him in a difficult position. So for me personally, I feel like we're being disrespectful to Yup by putting him in this difficult position. I feel like you know, it's just it's an issue that you know we've not. It, do, it seems like we've not really considered. Like, we've considered how good his sporting achievements are. We've considered how good of a coach he is. We've considered how well the players like him. But we've not really considered his uh, own feelings, if that makes sense. So, I feel like we need to do that. 
that needs to be the most important thing right now. And especially considering that he did it as a friendship, essentially. You know? He didn't even sign a contract or anything. He just said, yeah, we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to help you out. And that's really it, you know. Uh, so I think, personally, we need to get someone else. Now, there's another, another name that has been touted, which is Luz Enrique. He would be my third choice. I mean, again, he's the name that was, you know, before we signed anyone, he was the one that was being named, that was being recommended, you know, that newspapers linked us with. Roman Inges said that, you know, it's going to be a German. So, you know, it's only two real people I can see are Thomas Tuchel or uh, Nagelsmann. Those are honestly the only two names that at this point I can see. The only two coaches that make sense. And for me, Tom Stockholm makes more sense. If it's like three, four years, five years, even six years, it would be fine. Just so Nagelsmann gets more experience. I think once Nagelsmann hits, say, 35 years old, when he's like, say when he's like, yeah, 35, you know, and he comes in and then stays like 10 years or so. Personally, I think that would be an excellent achievement. I think, you know, that would be perfect for him. He could then, you know, play with players. Uh, in 10 years' time, you know, I'll say eight years' time, a player should like a new crop of players should hit their prime, and I would be happy. Uh, he he would have it much easier considering that the players are in the prime, and um, just would work better in my opinion. It would just be better if Thomas Tuchel came now and Nagelsmann came after him in like say t five, six, seven, eight, nine years. <laughs> maybe I'm just maybe I'm just being too positive. I don't know. I don't know, but that's just my thoughts. Again, that's the whole point of this video. It was just my thoughts on your pink is my thoughts on who should be the next coach. My thoughts on Nagas Mantuchel, you know, just the whole the whole thing that's going on right now that he, that the club seems to have no answer for, which I just think is a little bit ridiculous to be totally honest, because quite frankly we need to have answers and the fact that we don't is just kind of worrying in my opinion. But anyway, that's all there is for me. I need to I need to eat before I go to my panelists. Anyway, I'll see you guys then next time. Until then, peace out, everyone. Have a nice day.